library sent me another one from the Women's Prize Long List, and it's The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Allen Agostini, and it's her debut novel. And so powerful and harrowing. It's a hard read, um, but it is such an important topic, I think, for the Women's Prize for Fiction. It deals with abuse, violence against women. It's set in Trinidad and Alethea, sorry, Alethea or Ali is approaching her 40th birthday. She is a manageress of a boutique she is living with Leo and has been for the past five years. She's having an affair with her boss. And because the colour of her skin is such that she can pass as white, she almost gets more privileges than other people she works with. She seems to have it all, but clothes and makeup hide her bruises. It's told in the first person and it's told in Ali's voice, her Trinidadian voice. So in the beginning it does take a little bit of getting into the swing of, of her tone of voice, her, her speech pattern. But it's a story of how her life is full of secrets. She looks to have it all, but in the society that she's living in, she's unmarried, she's childless, and she doesn't have a close female friend. She doesn't have any friends. So, although she seems to have it all, she's got society against her for those reasons. Her, her life changes almost when a murder happens outside the shop. And it's a woman who is shot by her abusive partner. And this starts Ali beginning to think about her own situation, the abuse that she is suffering, would it ever escalate into such a situation that she saw outside the shop. She talks about her life and we get secrets revealed. She tells us what she wants to know but she doesn't tell us the secrets. And there are some secrets that she doesn't find out herself until towards the end of the book. There are passages in it that are in the third person. And those are particularly hard because then you are a voyeur. You are watching what is happening to Ali and you are powerless to do anything about it. The sex and the violence in here, it is not gratuitous. It's a hard read, but this is the life that Ali is living. And this is the life that a lot of women are living. It's an excellent book. There are lots and lots of triggers in here. And it's not an easy read, but it is a worthwhile read. So that is The Bread the Devil Need by Lily Allen Agostini on the Women's Prize for Fiction long list. So we'll see whether it gets moved onto the short list. So happy reading. Take care. Bye.